melting glaciers, record high temperatures, loss of biodiversity, fires, hurricanes. The evidence of the climate crisis is hard to ignore. Last year's IPCC report states that natural and human systems have already been impacted by the global warming. The report illustrates that serious consequences of global warming of 2 degrees above pre-industrial levels compared to 1.5 degrees Celsius. Currently, we aim towards at least 3 to 4 degrees warming if no changes are made. To put this in perspective, the Earth's atmosphere was on average about 4 degrees colder during the Ice Age compared to now. Why is the Earth heating up? Greenhouse gases capture the Earth's heat, making it warmer. Carbon dioxide and methane are examples of greenhouse gases, and the combustion of fossil fuels is an example of a significant source of greenhouse gases. Some greenhouse gases actually warm the Earth more than others, such as methane, which is 28 times more potent than carbon dioxide. Land use contributes to 23% of greenhouse gas emissions and methane emissions from livestock have been steadily rising. Agriculture, forestry and land use account for close to half of methane emissions from human activity. The consumption of meat and dairy in the Western world has been heavily criticized. Red meat is especially targeted since ruminants release methane during digestion. When considering there are almost 1.5 billion cattle in the world releasing approximately 100 kilograms of methane each, that's a considerable amount. What can we do? Lifestyle and policy change by changing dietary habits away from emissions-intensive livestock products one way could be by factoring environmental costs into food. Change of farming techniques. By transferring food systems from industrial agriculture to sustainable land management. Reduce food waste. There is no magical solution. But a combination of change in policy and governance, farming techniques and consumer dietary habits is suggested to be the way forward. Sea change aims at adding one contributing piece towards a more environmentally friendly production of beef and dairy. Seaweed. Seaweed may reduce methane emissions from cattle. Seaweed does not compete for arable land. Seaweed may be more efficient than land-based systems for long-term carbon storage. Seaweed has nutritional value for cattle as it contains minerals and bioactive compounds. Sea change's aim is to find a seaweed species that's easily accessible and has the potential to reduce methane emissions from cattle. How? Research in Australia has shown that certain seaweed species can significantly reduce methane emissions from cattle. To start with, Seed Change will investigate a range of European seaweed species that have been collected and further processed. The range of seaweed products then underwent the laboratory test to investigate whether they could reduce the production of methane. The seaweed is mixed in with normal feed and the change in gas emissions is measured and compared for feed with and without seaweed. The most promising seaweeds are then chosen for further studies in the laboratory but also with live cattle who will be fed seaweed at low percentage and the methane emissions measured in special chambers. Reducing methane emissions from cattle with a low inclusion level of seaweed in their diet could have a significant effect, especially if coupled together with other changes in farming practices.